It's a question that's often asked. I know what I ought to do, but I'm really hesitating in making my decision. Why is it that we hesitate at times doing what we know to be right? You know, there's an interesting psychological principle. It's called minimax. And minimax comes from two words, minimum and maximum. People tend to act when the liabilities of the action are low and the benefits of the action are high. In other words, if I believe that the liabilities or consequences of my action are going to outweigh the benefits of my action, I hesitate in acting. When it comes to accepting Christ, what does the devil do? He magnifies all the liabilities. If you make this decision, you're going to lose your friends. If you make this decision and you don't work on Sabbath, you may lose your job. If you make this decision, you may not be able to play football, soccer on Sabbath. If you make this decision, you, you, your sporting career is over. So the devil is going to maximize all the problems. If you make this decision, you're going to make your father, your mother, your sister, your brother angry. So if you make this decision, there'll be consequences. And what the devil does is he blows those up in our mind so the liabilities of the decision become greater than the benefits of the decision. It's amazing what Jesus said when that question was asked him in Mark the 10th chapter. In Mark chapter 10, the Bible says, Peter began to say to him, see, we've left all and followed you. In other words, Peter says, Jesus, we're following you. What are we going to get in return? Notice Christ's response. Jesus answered and said, assuredly, I say to you, there is nobody who's left his house, his brothers, his sisters, his father, his mother, or wife, or children, or lands for my sake in the Gospels, who will not receive a hundred times more in this life houses, brothers, sisters, mothers, children, and lands with persecutions and in the age to come eternal life. What did Jesus say? He said, yes, if you follow me, there'll be challenges. Yes, if you follow me, there'll be difficulties. But you're going to receive a hundred times more in this life. I was 17 years old hesitating in making a decision for Christ. And as I was thinking about that decision, I said, if I make this decision, I probably am not going to be able to play sports on Sabbath. If I make this decision, I may lose my friends. There was no large Seventh-day Adventist church in the community. The community only had 40, and, and a church, an Adventist church with 40 members and almost no young people at all. In the high school that I was attending, the public high school, of 3,000 students, there was not one other young man that was a Seventh-day Adventist. There was one girl that was an Adventist, but no young man. And when I began to think about this decision, the Holy Spirit was convicting me. I knew what I ought to do, but I was hesitant in making that decision. Why? Because I thought, I'll lose, lose my friends. My mother will not be happy. My sisters may not be happy. My family, my father had become an Adventist. It means stepping out of my youth organization in the Catholic Church with 500 young people, captain of the Catholic basketball team. And so the devil magnified these things. I came to a crossroads in my life. Our basketball team from our city was playing in a tournament. And I thought, if I ever make this decision, I won't be able to go to the tournament. That means I won't be able to travel. I'll never be able to travel again. Won't be able to stay in hotels again anymore. Little did I know that making the decision for Christ. And you know, I came to the point in my life where I said, Jesus, you're number one. Jesus, I'm going to make this decision and leave the consequences with you. What did Jesus say? If you follow me, I'll give you a hundred times more. Jesus gave me a peace. He gave me a joy. He sent me around the world on a world mission. Now, it's not that I wonder, will I be able to travel? Now I say, oh, Lord, can I stay home, you see? When you make a decision for Christ, do not allow the devil's liabilities to come into your mind and deceive you. God is going to give you much more. He's going to give you a joy. He's going to give you a peace. He's going to give you a strength. He's going to give you a purpose in your life. He's going to give you much more than you've ever given up for Christ. Make that decision for him. It'll be the best one you've ever made in your life.